Hello everyone, it is Erin Flutter here and I am doing a quarterly goals check-in. Um, so I'm not doing this with my reset because I have to set up for the next quarterly goals. So we're going to go ahead and do that in this video. But first I want to do a little check-in to see how March is going. I am filming this a little bit early. It's March 19th. So some of these things I may be able to fill out. Some of them I may not be able to. And if you hear something in the background, that is because my cat is acting like he's on crack. So <laughs> personal goals. Um, I do set monthly goals. I have not done the reset yet. Sunday activity. We did do a mini getaway and we did do, well, we do do Sunday activities. Uh, I do set monthly goals for work. Um, the credentialing process is not, not my priority right now. Uh, alphabet dates and family time. We do that. Health and wellness. Um, I did not set a monthly run goal this month. I talked about this last time, but that was a really stupid goal to set considering it was winter. And, um... Uh, we have been running, but because it is winter, it is hard to predict what the weather is going to be like. And therefore, I can't set monthly run goals because I don't know what the weather is going to look like, if it's uh, applicable or not. Um, the digital shop has continued to open. Um, again, I don't know why I put February big sale. And you know what? I did think about some things ahead of this next quarter legals, and I did kind of the same thing where some of them are like one thing. <laughs> um, but if it's done early, then I'll mark the rest of them if that makes sense. Financial, um, I have not logged my finances yet for March. I do that at the end of the month. And then save $200 monthly. We have put actually a substantial amount of money into a savings account. Um, finish home project. I just put up my coffee sign today, so that counts. And then organize office. And then I'm going to steal the level 10 life so that we can evaluate it. Um, this is a book called Anti-Time Management. I talked about this back in January. I took some notes for it, um, but I hated that book. I, I actually, me reading that book was me hate reading the book. Um, it, it was not great. Um, okay, so let's set up. We're going to do the same thing, do a level 10 life. And I'm going to do it based off of this, even though I have been doing the level 10 life check-in. But I do want to go based off of the last level 10 life. So these lines right here, not each month. I know that's a little confusing, but because that is a quarterly check-in, it makes sense in my brain. So let's do... Okay, so this is what I filled out based on the last level 10 life. So basically, I'm going to leave the last one hollow and I'm going to fill in the one that is currently active. Um, I like to do 
um, them semi-different. Um, like this one, I obviously had in the same bar, but uh, there was a space separating them. And this time I'm going to leave one blank and fill in the other one. So personal goals, um, I'm going to put at 10 just because I am really enjoying my goal setting method right now. So I want to acknowledge my goal setting methods are doing really well and they are serving me very well. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that in as a 10. Fun and recreation. It's been kind of hard because of the whole winter thing. I think that we've made the most that we could out of the winter. I think I'm going to up this to an 8. Mostly because as the weather has been getting nicer, we've been doing some more fun activities. Um my partner is going to be playing softball again so then we'll be able to have some fun there and baseball season is starting so i do think that there's a lot of room for things to be going better um and continue to go better so i'm gonna go ahead and put that at eight work and learning is kind of um Listen, I just, I'm overworked right now is, is the key issue. I don't have a lot of help for the things that need to get done. Um, and my boss and I are both kind of about to lose it really. <laughs> so I'm going to put this down and like part of the issue is I don't have a lot of fun things for me. Um, a lot of things are like not things that really motivate me, if that makes sense. Family and relationships. I think this is teetered a little bit on certain things, but I'm going to keep it at a 10. I honestly can't remember <laughs> my last monthly review and what it was. So I'm just going based off of like how I feel today. Health and wellness, I'm going up um, probably to, I think, an eight. Uh, going to the doctor helped with some clarity on some situations. We kind of have a plan of attack, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm taking really good supplements and vitamins for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at an eight. I would put it at a nine if we were able to run more, um, but we haven't been able to. Business, I'm going to keep at the same. Mm, you know what? I'm going to put it up to an eight, mostly because a lot of things are kind of running themselves and I don't feel stressed about it. I'm doing a lot of batch content, do, like making, and even though I don't feel great about like some of my numbers, honestly, it is what it is at this point with the algorithms and blah, 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 blah. I am a little sad because like the Reels program is going away. So, you know, it, it was a nice little bump um, money wise to get from Instagram, but that's not happening anymore. Um, <laughs> two, three, four, five. I don't, I don't really remember why my financial was so low. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it up to seven because we did start the savings account. Someone must be delivering something. Physical environment, I feel good, not great about. I've been doing more cleaning schedules and stuff like that. Um, and I've been doing a little bit better. Not great, but I think our physical environment has definitely gone up.
And that is my level 10 life. I, I like how that looks. I really do. Okay, let's go on to setting the quarterly goals for April through June. That is the next quarter. And hopefully, um, hopefully this will go well. <laughs> Okay, so I have set my quarterly goals. So if, you have, if you're if you new here, um, basically each of these marks is for one, the month, and two, the number. So this is April's for set monthly goals. This is April's for monthly reset. This is May's for set monthly goals. This is May for monthly reset. And then June, monthly goals, mon monthly reset. So that is what all of these little circles are for, is just marking them off. So for my personal goals, same exact thing. I like setting monthly goals and I like a monthly reset. I'm going to keep doing that. Fun and recreation. Well, I mean, hopefully. <laughs> Fun and recreation. Um, because it the weather is going to start getting nice, uh, I would like to do one hike per month. And number two is going out on the lake. So I mentioned this in the last level 10 life that I don't know why I did something when I'm not able to do it. And this is kind of the same thing. Um, the lake doesn't open till the end of Mar uh, May. I think May. Usually. So I can't go out on the lake in April. But this is something we really missed out on last year that I want to make sure we do this year. So I want to add it to my quarterly goals so that we actually go out on the lake. Um, work and learning, 75% uh, on my climate change initiative. And then two is offload work tasks. And getting 75% on the climate change initiative actually matters each month because when I hit 75 once, that doesn't necessarily mean it stays at 75. There's a whole bunch more um, stuff that gets added every month that can bring my percentage down. So that makes sense. And number two is offload work tasks. I mentioned this at the top, but my boss and I are stressed as hell. <laughs> We are very, very stressed and we need to offload some stuff. She and I cannot handle the workload by ourselves. Um, and we keep saying that to our boss's boss and our boss's boss's boss. Um, hopefully one day they actually listen to us. Uh, family and relation, because I um, didn't put that on the second line for relationships, is one alphabet dates and two FaceTime one time per week with my family down in Florida. The alphabet dates we are very good at. We definitely, um, we definitely stay on top of that. And then uh, typically we do that anyways, um, because I do talk to my uh, little nephew 
uh, a ton. He loves, <laughs> he loves talking to us on the, on video chat. So it's super fun. Sometimes he'll steal my mom's phone, his, his grandmother, and just run <laughs> with the phone. And it is the funniest thing in the world. It cracks me up. He's so funny. Uh, health and wellness. We have set monthly run goals. This is not the winter, so I <laughs> feel good about achieving some of them. I will still set them low in April on the off chance that it does snow, but in May and June, it is not snowing. So we can definitely set monthly running goals. And then my goal is cardio three times per week. It can be biking, it can be running, it can be paddle boarding, things like that. Um, so I would like to set cardio three times per week, at least. We can always do more. Business is prep for the birthday sale. So in August, it is my birthday. And in August, I have a sale every year. So I want to prep for that. Um, just because there's going to be a lot of turnover of old items that I used to sell physically that are going to be sold digitally and things like that. So I want to put in the work to um, convert those over. And then two is upload two videos. Oh, I said per month. That's not correct. Per week. I'm actually watching a friend do a live stream right now. So um, <laughs> I must have been very distracted with something that they were saying. Oh, no. Okay. I'll have to go back in and fix that. Upload two videos per week. I've been doing very, very good so far. I've only missed one week in the entire um, first quarter and I uploaded one time, not twice. So I've been doing, I've been staying on top of my videos and luckily that's because I'm doing a lot of batching on Sundays. Financial is set up a family account. Um, we're trying to save for a house. So we want to set up a family account so that way we can, um, start putting some money in there and, um, and yeah, making sure we're saving up. Uh, filling out uh, the Notion dashboard monthly. So that is for my business related expenses and income. Um, I do have that Notion dashboard available if you are also a content creator. It is U.S. tax based. So all of the tags are related to things in U.S. taxes and how they word things. So I've set that up. And then physical environment is upgrade to a standing desk. I did buy the legs to the standing desk. I just have to um, drill it into my tabletop and then I will have a standing desk. And that is going to be so good for me. I remember having a standing desk when I was in my office in uh, at work and I loved that desk. So I really do need to um, make this a standing desk. I like my back feels so hunched all the time. And number two is redo the garden. We are, um, <laughs> our garden is overrun with mint. So we kind of have to start from scratch. We have to resoil it. And, um, it, it, the mint just took out absolutely everything. So I do want to make sure we are redoing the garden. So those are all of my quarterly goals. That is my level 10 life. And I will use these goals when it helps me set up for the month ahead um, in my reset. So you'll be able to see that in a couple weeks. So thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.